take it more or less in time. Four beats on each one. one. Just yeah. the right hand. Okay. Three, four. Anticipate the last chord like one, two, like that. Probably sound good. Let's try that. Right. And I played the bass. That was, that was excellent. Yeah. Music theory is actually interesting on occasion. <laughs> Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College. Most of the time my channel runs like jazz songs, but now I'm covering a few pop songs. And these are great songs if you're just, you know, a beginner and you're learning, you know, basic chords, major and minor chords. First thing you do is take all the chords in the song, and I kind of outlined it here in the, in the first eight measures. And, you know, look for the inversions too. 
for each chord. So you got F. Now I'm going to talk just about the right hand. This is in what we call first inversion because we got the root position F chord. Then if you just take the F and move it to the top, we have first inversion. And you can tell it's first inversion because there's a fourth here. And then second inversion, the fourth is here. And then if you do it again, you're, you're back in root position. So look for all of those inversions. And notice sometimes the, the root of the chord is not the bottom note. Like in this case, it's a definitely a first inversion chord because of this note. This is root position here, and then the right hand is doing first inversion, second inversion. It's in root position because the bass note is on the bottom, but the right hand, first inversion, second inversion. Just the same thing in minor. And here's a second inversion chord. We have the fourth right away, and then the third, and you can see it's B flat major. And that's what the slash means, you know, the, the top the B flat here is the triad, and the F is just a bass note. It's not a chord. So you have a B flat chord with an F bass note. This is our first four note chord. It's a C major with what we call the flat seven. So this is a uh, dominant chord. And the next chord also is sometimes played like this, F with a flat seven, so that would be F7. But if you move this note up here, thanks everyone. If you have some suggestions for some easier songs that I could do tutorials on, I'd be happy to do them. So just leave me some comments down there in the comment section and I'll put them on my list. Okay, thank you everyone.